These pop up houses are going up all over DC. Just yesterday, one partially collapsed during construction. So that means there's a lot of opinions out there about these uh, structures, and now there's some serious concerns about putting this modern, modern day housing and the choices that it brings to neighborhoods. DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live in Northwest Washington to explain all that for us in just a minute. Right, Sam? Yes, Leon. Well, we're in front of 19th Street Baptist Church, where within the hour, a meeting is scheduled on what to do about pop-up houses. They're popping up around the city and particularly raising the ire of the next door neighbors. On Euclid Northwest, they're working on a pop-up house and the homeowner next door is livid. They have already put a hole in the side of our attic. Uh, the noise, the banging, everything. It, it seems that they pick and choose what regulations they want to follow. Valerie Wheeler insists the city's ignoring her complaints and letting the builder convert a row house into a four condo pop-up as he pleases. He insists he's obeying the codes and has a problem with her. This wall was surveyed by my surveyor. It protrudes on my property five eighths of an inch. With DC's real estate market booming, the pop-up builders are busy and the next door homeowners like Olivia Padilla claim the city's not providing proper oversight. I heard this huge like whoop and then brrr, like the bricks falling and my whole house was shaking and I got large section of fence was smashed. That bulldozer accident yesterday on P Street apparently did no structural damage to her house, but she's upset about it. As is Sandra Lassane of Buchanan Street Northwest, who says she learned of the pop-up construction next door when jarred from her bed by the work. We have no rights when it comes to people coming. This builder insisted the pop-up industry is doing D.C. a favor. We took a, a one dwelling unit and now we're making it four condominiums. Those buyers will probably not have uh, school aged children. It does help to expand the tax base for the city. His argument is that D.C. does not have the space to expand horizontally and so it must expand vertically. Although people attending this meeting tonight will probably be asking for tougher regulations and some of them would like to see pop-up houses banned completely. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. Okay, thank you, Sam.